For years, my belief in UFOs and other unexplained phenomena has been met with skepticism and disbelief. Oh, UFOs are real? I think there's a possibility they have always been here on our planet, living among us. In a world of alien hybrid babies, paranormal post people aliens, and now we meet mermaid slash whale aliens. Is this not enough? Are you not entertained? third episode in the four parts of Demi Lovato's UFO show, which I am loving. Unfortunately, this also means there's literally only one episode left, so I will probably have to cover it at this point. I know there's been a lot of other dramas and things happening in the community these past few weeks, so I will leave links because these topics have been covered in a way that I would cover them as well and have pretty much the same opinions as what I will link, specifically with regards to the Mama Max show, as well as Creepshow Art's New Year's special. You can check the description box for those. Other than that, please remember not to send anybody hate and harassment or bullying. I don't condone any of that, never have and never will. Also, if you haven't seen the first two episodes, please check them out. They will also appear in the cards. This entire episode is situated on the island of Catalina in California. And even though it appears as if this is an episode about aliens, UFOs and all things magical and wonderful in Demi's world, it is actually about settling a long time beef between Demi Lovato and Seth Meyers. For years my belief in UFOs and other unexplained phenomena has been met with skepticism and disbelief. How self-centered would we be as humans to believe that we are the only living things in the universe. Um, well, call me self-centered because I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> We've seen a lot of what's above and now it's time to see what's below. We haven't even explored 70% of the ocean. Yeah. Iconic scientist Demi Moment, yes! Okay, so in the premise of this episode, as opposed to the previous two, this time we are exploring alien mermaids. Because of course not, we already had alien hybrid babies, and then we had alien paranormal ghosts. Now we have alien whales slash mermaids, whatever, whoever, who cares. So that is the one half of what the story is about. The other half of what the story is about is settling a long time beef with famous TV show host Seth Meyers. Yes, that is the premise, that's what we're exploring, and you know what, we are on a fucking journey. So at this point, our mystery and gang decided to abandon the RV aesthetic and instead upgrade into that mansion time. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So we meet up with UFOlogist and cryptozoologist Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. I'm Barbieri and I'm a certified ufologist as well as a cryptozoologist. And she explained to us how there's actually an alien base situated below the ocean and since we've only ever explored about 70%, is that right Demi? This means that truly it is really possible that some part of the unexplored ocean actually entails like a, a base camp for aliens that are also of mermaid varieties. So apparently every now and then there's this green door that just opens on the island. Everybody on the island knows about the green door. When it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. I know nothing about a green door. <laughs> yeah, they have the portal too, which I think is also extraterrestrial. Pier? It just appears all over the island whenever it wants. They say it just appears. And they think that they might have actually recorded this green door opening. We got that. Oh, and the reason. Of course you need a reason, right? Besides this freaky fucking sound over here. There's also the reality of this base having actual pillars. Yes, pillars. So you can actually make out the pillars. Do you oh see that? Oh my gosh. It's off the coast a little bit. Like, I've never known any natural formation of rock to have three point pillars. 
holding up a front ledge. If anybody would say, is that a base? I'd be like, ah, uh, yeah, that pretty much looks like one to me. So obviously in a world where one plus one equals two, that means that that is where alien mermaids have to live. So now you might think, are we going to go to this cave? Are we going to explore it? Are we going to see photos of it? Then we're going to do a literal deep dive. None of the above. I am so sorry. Like, Demi did not bring it for this episode. This was just not the time to shine. Brittany saying, like, mermaids might be real makes me feel like I told you so. I believe that there could possibly be mermaids, which is a actually an alien species that lives in parts of the Indian Ocean, which we have never explored before. All right, so. I just think it's, it's possible, and there's this, like, really extremely convincing documentary. Gotcha. that came out the little mermaid <laughs> gaze into demi's ptsd so after our little girl talk real moment with our home slice Brittany, we end up meeting my second and third favorite characters of the show and that is kevin day the whistleblower and of course none other than the tic tac ufo now you might wonder what is a tic tac ufo well i should say it's pretty self-explanatory what are you new and he gets all the way to the merge plot position, which is two objects in the same vertical piece of sky. As soon as he gets to that point, we hear on the radio, have it, I had that piped into the speaker. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. L literally, what did it look like? At the time I was on the ship, I only saw radar. So when I got back to the beach, we had a, a debrief. And that pole commander, for every size, said, hey, sir, what did you really see? He looked at me and said, Senior Chief, that thing looked like a giant Tic Tac candy. Yes, yeah, so it's literally a UFO, but shaped like a Tic Tac. Given Day saw it and absolutely nobody believed him. But, 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 there is still hope. Look at this man over here. Don't you just want the best for him? So nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah thank and thank you very much for the invite. I'm deeply honored. <clears throat> I joined the Navy in 1986 and I had 16 years of sea time on these waters out here. Operation Specialist sitting behind the Spy One radar radar operators in the Navy. We are trained skeptics. Anyway, so he actually wrote a book when he got dismissed and he put it in the Library of Congress and in 2021 people decided that this is now valid and should be accessible to the general public. So officially, Kevin Day's sighting may be recorded and live on. He was the witness of the USS Nimitz encounter which was top secret for years until it was leaked to the public in 2017. And these might seem like a bunch of reasonable reasons as to why we the audience might be into Kevin Day and very into the Tic Tac UFO. But there's something even more relatable to Demi. Oh yeah. I raised a flag on this. Someone needs to figure out what the hell that was. So I, I tried to tell anyone that I thought would listen to me in the Department of Defense and I got laughed at, man, and scoffed. <sighs> We go to Hamilton Bay where we re-meet up with Bestie Brittany and she informs us that we're basically going to be playing laser tag with the ocean. Hey Brittany. Hey guys. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you too. Are you guys excited about tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. Look so, at this. It's so warm. Shut up. A recent study by MIT theorized that projecting strong lasers into the sky could act as a direct signal to ETs. So that means that if you apparently shoot a bunch of lasers into one point of the ocean or the sky or whatever, then that's supposed to mean something to the aliens and that's how they know now it's safe to cross the road, you know? So i.e. they come and say hello to us. So that's fucking cool we're doing this sky watch laser tag thing and that is how we're going to get in contact with the ets so obviously they start signaling in the general direction that they would consider the base and in our case because we're looking for usos we're planning on putting our lights straight down so by putting those lights into the water and pulsating underneath we're hoping that just maybe we'll summon some type of creature maybe or some kind of light and you know what everybody thinks that they have the best take but here is the best take phenomena Hell, I mean, a UFO could land right in front of us and out walk four little gray men, you know what I'm saying? Or women, we don't know their pronouns. Anything could happen. So after a long and daunting day, Demi gets really tired and suggests they all nap together. It would really help if we all meditated. Yeah, yeah I'm done. Okay, ready? Yeah. Um, simply because us mere mortals do not have the necessary brain power as individuals So if we collectively erase the Earth's consciousness, you know, it's like a fucking Dragon Ball Fusion Kamehameha We got this I'm assuming that their consciousness is at a level that we can't comprehend yet And so we need to be able to do whatever we can to try to get on their level Holy shit, Demi hits bingo once again Brittany informs us, we got him boys, we got him 
Frank. So we did capture something. <gasps> really? It was shortly right after meditation. No way. Yeah. We captured this on our military grade night scope. Let's see what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and play this back for you. It's gonna come from the right of the screen. You ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and watch. One second. There it is. Whoa! <laughs> and it takes off and it's like. Goes. And there's no way that could have been one of our lasers. Nope. Okay. Good call. So it wasn't a bird, not a laser, and definitely, you know, not an insect. What is really fascinating is as soon as it hit the fog, you didn't see it anymore. Yeah. That one. Was definitely you know, unironically, Superman was an alien. So maybe, maybe Demi is in the DC universe. Wouldn't all of this make sense then? Wouldn't it? So the producers decided to split the team up in order to investigate different areas. The idea here is that Dallas and Brittany are going on a boat so that they can test the various sounds to check the cave to find, you know, the base, obviously, because that's the whole point of Brittany being here, right? She knows the portal. She knows the way. She can't fight that magical G-spot. I mean, spot, just the spot. <laughs> And on the other end of the island, Demi and Matthew decide to serve us some scuba realness. Yes. Okay, let's split this shit up. First of all, let's just quickly do Demi and Matthew. So they're serving us some scuba realness. Unfortunately, it's only because Dem Dem cannot get on the boat. Um, this is the area that we caught something on night vision with the cameras that were set up by Brittany. I can't go in the boat because I get seasick. They do not do the seasickness thing too well. And um, here's to hoping that aliens only end up traveling by UFOs, submarines, or even horses. Because, yeah, boating is off the table. So a lot of nothingness happens, and then all of a sudden things escalate in the diving scene. No, really. So our protagonists, Demi and Matt, dared to go where no one else would have gone. And unfortunately for them, so did the ocean. Um, it gave a bit of a ruckus, it gave a bit of a tussle, it fought back, and you know what, this was just one too many, booed at them. And in Matthew's own words, they're down for an adventure, but this, this ain't it, sis. Fuck the mermaids if they're gonna be like that, you know? <laughs> so in essence, they encountered something even more terrifying than extraterrestrials, which is physical exertion. And well, let's just say, the aliens win this round. So ironically here, Dallas and Brittany is giving us an A-plot line to actually strive and thrive for. So these badass bitches want to catch the aliens red-handed in front of their base so that they can actually pinpoint that these pillars are an entry to the base. So in order to do that, one does as one would do with anything. You bait them, right? Review, and this is where I want you to stay for most of the time that we're in the okay. water, okay? So this speaker is what we're going to lower in, right? We're going to want to use this to plug into your phone. And the okay. sounds that we sent over to you are the mm -hmm. sounds we're going to want to admit into the water. We're going to okay. do it as loud as possible. Cool. And then we also have another recording system that's going to be recording any sound underwater that's happening during this time to awesome. see if we captured anything or any kind of anomaly while we're down there. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. cool. So they decided to play multiple different sounds. They have the three that they already discussed, and predominantly the whale sound is supposed to be the language of the alien. So we embrace this, and we have Dallas on keyboard managing shit, and Brittany down in the ocean playing shit, and we're seeing what's happening. We're recording everything along the way. All of a sudden, Fucking nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. All the sound gets tested. It's great. It's a journey. We're here for it. Whatever. Great, Dallas. You done brought it. Look, it's still more interesting than whatever the fuck Demi and Matthews are doing at this point. Fortunately, also at this point, we find out the sad truth that Dallas doesn't have any real friends and she kind of wants to use these sound effects as a type of Wi-Fi to communicate with extraterrestrials. Which I think this is a really interesting experiment to know that I can put using sounds in my toolbox to make connection with extraterrestrials, I think is amazing. So if you find me at home playing whale sounds and staring up at the sky, I'm just trying to talk to my friends. You know, great for you, girl. Some of us use Discord, some of us use Skype. You use those fucking frequencies and whale sounds and you, and you get those friends. We will back you. Certainly not yet. Oh, thank you. There were a couple pieces of shiny objects down there. I'm not really sure what they were. I tried to grab them as best as I could, but the current was really racking me back and forth. Got it. Um, whatever's going on with the island was blocking our communication. It's a little odd. Caught us both off guard. Yeah. Now it's a new mystery for me. Yeah. So Queen Brittany gets back onto the vessel with shiny pieces of silver and explains that the failed communication attempts was due to an island blockage. Probably. Wow. Yeah. So back at base, human base that is, Matt does his best interpretation of a normie reaction to all this shit. 
feel like I've been the UFO cheerleader since we got back because people <laughs> that I've talked to, they know that we went and they're yeah. like, what yeah. do you see? Do you see stuff? Uh -huh. And they're like, they're more skeptical than me. I'm like, no, 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 no. There's <laughs> stuff out cool. there. I don't know what it was, but we saw <laughs> something. Yeah. And they're like, really? I didn't expect you to say yeah. that. I was like, me neither. <laughs> but luckily we also see my favorite character, which is a non-binary heart-shaped dog. What is that? It's a, the non-binary And now we have the pit you've all been waiting for. Ha! Take that, Sith, you utter normie. You know who was also like a skeptic? Who? I did an interview with Seth Meyers. I tried to tell oh, him yeah. that... You talked about mermaids. I, I talked about mermaids. I tried to convince him that mermaids are real. Maybe he's changed mm. his mind. Yeah, maybe. There has been a lot of proof with, you know, yeah. Ken Vaughn coming out and yeah. saying that UFOs are real. Should we call him? Yeah. Okay. Yes, let's call him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, oh my god, you guys, do you think that they phoned him ahead and like told Seth that it would look very anti woke if he doesn't answer the call? Or is Demi trying to convince us that they have like Seth on speed dial? So this is a post-production editing, like big yikes, I am on the struggle buzz, this part had been copyright claims. And here is my theory as opposed to that, I think it's because Seth looks bad and I won't even show you a picture now because I don't know if they're gonna claim that again. It's terrible, just I, I'm assuming it has to be on YouTube if it got claimed. Anyway, what happens in this discussion is Demi asks Seth if he had changed his mind, if he now truly believes in aliens and if he's willing to, you know, kiss her feet and apologize. And he says, well, Demi, if you ever do meet aliens, just, you know, put in a good word for me and don't tell them that I was skeptical to begin with. You know, he's being a good guy, Seth. And she kind of pushes it and asks if he actually is open to the idea of mermaids since he seems more open to the idea of aliens. And he says no. Just no, like cry harder. And then he tries to do that awkward laughing it off thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it couldn't be me. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Call me self-centered because I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> Seth is giving us cope realness and look how diplomatically one can say, yeah, thanks, but no thanks, Demi. Haha. <laughs> so the rating. Okay, so in episode three of Demi Lovato's UFO show, Undefined, we got some Wojak emoji sister. What was that? We interacted with actual normies. I'm like, no, 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 no. We saw a dog. Seth Myers was here. The Tic Tac UFO. So, you know, that's pretty fucking dope. But on the negative side, we had no alien contact. Demi did not look cool surfing the waves or riding a boat or sleeping on the laser tag. And you can generally tell off of the energy of this episode that Demi just got ripped off with regards to screen time. And they probably have been informed that the show is not going to see its second season. You can tell people are not that into it anymore, right? From it. Wow. Yeah. And oh my god, this is like literally only the third episode and they brought us hybrid babies, they brought us paranormal activities and now mermaids and you're telling me we are cancelling this. What is up people? What is even happening? So in a sea of mermaid quality entertainment, this was merely moss and for that reason it only garnered two froyos from me. But in the end of the day I'm just a thought with an opinion and I don't know shit about fuck. Peace! <laughs>